Hola amigos, my name is Billy Sheehan and this is... Hello everybody, this is Paul Gilbert. We're from Mr. Big and we're in the studio right now here in Los Angeles, California. Working on a new Mr. Big record. Woohoo! Cool. Paul's doing some blazing guitar, awesome as usual. Billy's right. doing some amazing bass playing, blowing my mind every day. <laughs> We've got Pat here, Eric is here also, Met Star is helping us out as well and uh, we're very excited about a new record and we're becoming a Japan uh, Actually, we're going to come to Japan later in the tour this time, I believe. Many times we begin our tour in Japan. I kind of like that because we'll, we'll be in our best shape for our best playing we can possibly do for you when we get there this time. We'll, we'll have made all our mistakes already. <laughs> got us so, out of the way. So we'll have the good stuff. Yeah, we've got uh, <laughs> Kevin Olsen producing the first uh, four Mr. Big Records. Uh, Kevin Olsen put his magic on and... Uh, He's quite a legendary guy, uh, and uh, he's also one of the nicest, easiest guys to work with in the world. And uh, what do you think, Paul? I really enjoyed uh, working with Kevin again. Yeah. Both to work with him and just to hang out with him because yeah. we had such a good times back in the day. And he's getting amazing sounds for us, uh, just doing everything you want a producer to do, and uh, it's a it's a pleasure and and it's working. We're getting a lot of stuff done. Really great. Yeah, just for me, it's it's all about. I actually do the thing where I visualize playing in Japan mm -hmm. and think what would be really fun to, to to play for for people at a show. I have a similar thing where I uh, envision. I swear to God, being in a hard rock cafe with a zillion fans in there and hearing hearing these songs over the uh, sound system, and it's been like that for almost every record I've done, uh, knowing that it's going to be. I'll be in Japan playing it because yeah. some of our best times are hanging out with the fans in Japan, of course. But, but that, I, th I think of that a little bit as a process. But as far as writing the songs, it's kind of cool to be um, have the luxury of being together in the studio and coming up with parts as opposed to uh, having to go fast and get everything done first. And we really can create in here and under the uh, uh, with the help of Kevin Elson, it's been going really smoothly and uh, we're coming up with some cool stuff. It's all there, the usual uh, ingredients. Yeah, we did uh, well, the one song with a, with a, a lot of lines in it, I forget. <laughs> yeah, some, some really <laughs> challenging stuff. And I, uh, it's funny because when another musician writes something, uh, especially something a little complicated, and you have to play that thing, uh, you have to figure out how to do it, how to play like they play. And it goes both ways. If yeah. I do a thing that Paul's got to figure it out, it's just not the way he would normally do things. He's a different person. You've got to translate it. Exactly. Same thing when Paul comes up the line. But So I had to think this one. I actually had four different fingerings <laughs> for the same line yeah. until finally I came up with one that, that was comfortable and worked yeah. for me. But it was it was cool. I, I, it's, a, it's interesting to have a technical challenge, but to have what you're being challenged by a part of something that's actually musical and not just a bunch of uh, gymnastic notes that are hard to play. I mean, it's actually something that rolls in, fits in, weaves in with the music that's playing, which uh, adds another aspect of the challenge. You really have to play it with a lot of heart and soul and not just a technical expertise. So uh, that's a great, another great thing I, I enjoy about Mr. Big. Uh, 